Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY. Welcome back for those who have subscribed. And if it's your first time checking out the podcast and you like what you see, please subscribe below. Um, also, hit the thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, you can comment below as well. Um, and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post. I usually post Sundays, either every week or every other week. Um, first of all, what I'm wearing is a sweater I made, I think, two years ago out of Plentiful which is a Yarnspirations yarn that's no longer in production. It was at Joann's and online. Um, this color is called Blood Orange. It was a top-down um, circular sweater. I believe it was top-down. It's been so long I can't even remember. But I'm going to show you what I made this week um, and also tell you what plans I have for coming up. Uh, the first thing I made this week was a pair of socks. Um, I think I started them, had started them last Sunday, and I finished them on Friday night, or Friday afternoon, actually. Um, they look like this. They're fraternal twins. They're not exactly matching, because that's, it didn't start at the same point in the ball. Um, the yarn that I used is Patton's Croy that I bought last year on clearance from Hobby Lobby. This color is called 50s Stripes. Um, so that's what they look like again, close up. I did a heel flap and gusset, and the yarn, again, the yarn I used was Patton's Croy. I used a 2.5 millimeter circular needle um, and Addy squared that I have. The second thing that I made and completed this week, um, I had a half day on Friday because I had a doctor's appointment, so I took some vacation time and just took the rest of the afternoon off. This is made out of Bernat Forever fleece that I bought for $5 a ball at Ollie's uh, when it was on sale. Um, this color is called Tea Tree. And I tried to use double crochet. The yarn wasn't liking that um, because the yarn tended to, I, I don't, I've had this experience with yarn in the past. It kind of bowed out when I tried to do double crochet. It couldn't keep the shape. So I was like, huh, let's try half double crochet. So that's exactly what I did. I did half double crochet the entire way with turning chains of two. Um, I used five skeins, and it's a pretty long afghan. And then I just did single crochet up the sides for a border, because it's just a simple blanket. Um, it's The yarn is really soft. It was nice to work with. It worked up fast. So from Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon, I went through five skeins and got it all in. Um, I know that seems really super fast. It seems really super fast to me. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of house cleaning or anything like that. I still got to do laundry tonight. Um, and I went out and I finished this mid-afternoon this afternoon. I went out with my goddaughter to Joann's. I did not buy yarn. Um, I did buy yarn this week, but I gave it away as a gift. So it doesn't count. <laughs> I know I'm working from stash for the next six months until the Hobby Lobby yarn clearance. So I was, I had a moment of weakness, but luckily my goddaughter's mother knits and crochets too. And I said, this is a gift. I am, it's not in my stash. I'm not using it. So that's what I did. I don't intend on doing that again um, because there's no reason for me to buy yarn. Um, she has a stash, but it's smaller than mine. Um, I was watching um, Ginger, the yarn geek today, when she put out a video on what her one yarn room looks like, and she has two of them. And I don't feel so bad about my stash. My stash is way smaller. Um, I realize that's her living. 
Um, she uses her YouTube channel for her living. I do not use it for my living. I have a full-time job that I work 40 hours a week at an environmental lab as a secretary. We've talked about this in the past. Um, so I can work from stash for six months at least until the clearance comes up. So what's the next thing that's going to be on my needles or hooks? The next thing will be another blanket. And I'm going to start it tonight. It's going to be out of Karen, a Karen anniversary cake. Karen anniversary cakes are number six uh, recommended. Needle size is US 11. Recommended hook size is L. But I'm going to be using probably an N on it because that's what I have and that's what I prefer to work with. Uh, this is a super bulky and it has it's 35.3 ounces a thousand grams and 1061 yards so i figure if i do another one of those half double crochet or i do a double crochet blanket with turning chains nothing complicated nothing ripply um i am going to come up with something nice that's going to be a nice little afghan. Um, I'm trying to get some done before we have my mom's side of the family is having a family Christmas next weekend. Ideally, I'd like to get this done and be able to take five blankets with me so that everybody can choose one. Um, I'm not planning on giving every single person a blanket, but whoever wants them can choose them and then they're out of my house. Um, I've got... That, that tea tree one was definitely one I'm working on. So anniversary cakes are next for a blanket. And then the next thing after that is going to be another pair of Patton's Croy socks. This is the FX line. And these I bought on sale at some point somewhere, probably Joann's or Michael's. This is called Midnight Colors. It's sort of black and has purple and blue in it. Um, the toes will be black because I have a skein of uh, black that I can use for that. So those are my plans. Um, I'm gonna be doing blankets and socks, a lot of blankets, a lot of socks. It's gonna be kind of boring for a while. So, um, but not boring in the sense of, you'll get to see different yarns in different formats. I'm doing simple projects. I like to sit and watch TV and knit or crochet. Um, I've used the same pattern for socks forever and now I've successfully gone through and used all the yarn from socks that I bought from Hobby Lobby last clearance. There's one um, skein left but it's of merino and I don't think I'm going to use it for socks because I think they're going to rip um, if I try to use 100% merino for socks. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that skein. It might be a skein that just goes in the pile to look pretty. Um, I think I paid $3.74 for it. So if I don't use it, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm trying to use up some of the stuff behind me. Um, I can make blankets for the nursing home. Um, I'm planning on using worsted doubled so that I can get through some of this stash. Um, I've got some of the uh, Cozy Home that was, I think, a Bernat yarn that I got on sale at Ollie's that's in gray and black, and I can pair it with some of my cakes of Karen cakes and baby cakes that are behind me on the shelf and make some nice blankets for the nursing home, like little lapgans. Um, I don't want to use a size H hook anymore and be forever working on a blanket and get tired of it. I like to be able to get something done in a week or two, week and a half. Um, so that's what my plan is. Um, comment below if you have any um, good patterns for um, like say super bulky yarn. Um, and that's about it. So I hope that you guys maybe are inspired to work out some of your stash. Um, I won't be showing yarn. Um, except what's coming out of my stash and um, 
when I did try and show my stash um, of sock yarn months ago, there were complaints. Um, complaints of people being upset that I did it. Um, people being upset that, you know, how dare I show what my stash was. Um, keep in mind, I've been knitting and crocheting for 30 years. So when I find a good sale, I buy yarn. So that's how I built up a stash over 30 years. Um, so uh, not that the yarn in my stash is 30 years old, but some of it is at least five to six to seven years old. So you average that out and it's not that much. But people were upset that I had so much sock yarn, that I have so much yarn. Um, that's kind of the point of the podcast was I was going to use the yarn out of my stash and for the last couple of years, I bought yarn when I'm, when it was on sale, when I wanted to have, when I was upset, if I wanted to buy yarn. Um, and basically what I want to do now is work from stash, work it down, um, be able to go to the clearance sale and say, I want A, B, and C. I want sock yarn. Um, even though I have a lot of sock yarn, I wanted the newest colors. Um, so that's the plan, socks and blankets, um, to use up the stash and get some ideas for some other things. I probably won't be doing another sweater. Um, that's about it. Um, so if you're upset that you're not going to see yarn hauls anymore, I'm sorry. Um, if you're upset that my stash is too big, I'm not sorry. Um, some people choose to be stashless great for them. If you have a huge stash, great for you. If you have a medium-sized stash, great for you. We're all different. Um, and not everybody can afford to have a stash. Um, some people are gifted stashes, you know, like if a grandma passes on or a relative passes on and you suddenly inherit a stash. That's usually how these things get started. Um, when I first started knitting, my grandmother and my aunt gave me yarn for Christmas one year, and that kind of started it. They gave me 12 balls of woolies in two different colors, and that kind of started my, my journey. So um, I hope that me being frank with you is not going to upset people, but um, this is where I am in my journey. Um, and I hope that you enjoy what I do um, I hope that you want to watch me. Um, I'm kind of passionate about knitting and crocheting, as you can tell. Um, I wouldn't be podcasting if I didn't want to share my love of yarn, but I also don't want to lull you into a sense of you always need to buy new yarn. Um, some podcasters do that because that's their living. That's their living. I mean, you have to realize that this is not my living. Uh, so I can understand why people buy new yarn and show you new yarns because that's what's their, that's their job. Um, that's how they make their living. So um, I kind of rambled on about that. I'm sorry. Um, some people say I'm all talk and no action, but you kind of get the idea. Um, and obviously I'm going to get comments below of you shouldn't have talked about that. You shouldn't have said anything. How dare you, you know, or I'm going to get comments of support, which is 99% of what you're here for is to see what I'm working on and to get some idea of what is out there. So you'll be seeing stash yarns. I hope that you like what you see. Some of these things are going to be fairly recent purchases. Some of them are going to be from years back, but we're going to see, I have all kinds of different materials in my stash too. I'm looking across the room at another shelf that I have, and I realize I have mohair on that shelf. I have some pom-pom yarn. I have some worsted weight red heart super saver that I can use with some, some of these lapgans that I'm going to make. Um, I mostly make stuff for other people now. Um, the socks are for me. Um, I don't make socks. I've only made socks for two other people in my life. And that was years and years ago when one of them is my size feet. 
and the other person was a child. <laughs> so I, they were small size socks. They weren't huge socks. Um, but that's what I've got going on. Uh, I've rambled on long enough. I hope that you guys have a great week and I hope that you take a break um, like I'm going to tonight since I'm kind of, you can tell I'm kind of revved up from going out today and having lunch and going to Joanne's and not buying yarn, which I'm very proud of myself for doing. We didn't even go through the yarn section at all. Um, my goddaughter is into art and she bought art supplies. So that's the only place in Joanne's where we went. And it was really tempting to go in the yarn section because they're having a big sale. Everything, every piece of yarn in the store practically is on sale or maybe all of it's on sale but I don't need any <laughs> that's what I keep telling myself I don't need any I have enough I have way more than enough so we're going to try and put a dent in it this year and I hope that you have a great week um, I'll probably podcast next weekend um I may not have the blanket done yet because my family Christmas is on Saturday. I usually record Sunday, so I might record maybe something Saturday morning really quickly if I have the blanket done. And I hope that you find yourself this week taking a break, knitting or crocheting, spinning, weaving, whatever, diamond painting, whatever craft calms you down and gets you relaxed because it is good for your mental health. I hope that you guys have a great week. I'll see you next week.